Sure, FCC Chairman Ajit Pai likes to say that corporations won't be creating slow and fast lanes for the internet because corporations have been so good and kind to the people. But the fact is that corporate ISPs were slowing internet down before this decision was ever made. Charter Communications was suing Time Warner back in November of 2017 for not providing internet speeds they were promised. Net neutrality would mean that Time Warner would be in the wrong for not being transparent on what they can and can't deliver. Corporate ISPs are like that friend that promises to take you to the airport and help you move or even feed your cat. But through a series of excuses and lies, they drop the ball and you miss your flight and have to move all your shit yourself and bury your cat. If you really wanted to get rid of that friendship, you should bury your cat in your former friend's front yard. In small towns, you know, the internet speeds are already slower compared to bigger cities. I was in a small town outside Des Moines, Iowa, and a video that normally takes about five minutes to upload took about four hours. And these towns don't have too many options on who their internet service providers are. So if Comcast and Verizon didn't want to give faster service to Iowans under net neutrality, then what choice does Iowa really have? I mean, it's no wonder that when you go to small towns, they look like they're stuck in the 80s. And, and so what you do see in competition in broadband, among broadband providers, uh, the most competition is among the wealthiest markets because those are the people who are going to possibly pay more money for a, a higher quality connection. So if you're a small provider trying to compete in a charter legacy market, it's a very difficult thing to do. You're not going to invest in poorer areas. You're going to invest in the wealthiest areas. And that's not necessarily anyone's fault. That's just the nature of what competition looks like in this kind of infrastructure, right? So you end up with... That's how information is controlled for these folks. It's kept slow, and any smaller ISP that is looking to advance technology is blocked by the big guy that can charge more for faster service. And it creates an even larger divide between fast city slickers and the simple life of small townies. Obviously, Ajit Pai has never been outside the bubble that his Verizon master set up for him, where they just show him videos of parents exploiting their children's dental care, and baby pandas sneezing, and pages after pages of Amazon's goods. I mean, it would explain why his own video was this. Hi, I'm Ajit Pai. I'm the chairman of the FCC. Recently, there's been quite a bit of conversation about my plan to restore internet freedom. Here are just a few of the things you'll still be able to do on the internet after these Obama-era regulations are repealed. You can still gram your food. Quality. Are you selfieing or just... You can still post photos of cute animals, like puppies. <laughs> you can still shop for all your Christmas presents online. Yes, got that bulk deal on fidget spinners. Yes, those Eclipse glasses are so cheap. You can still binge watch your favorite shows. You can still stay part of your favorite fan community. Notice that Pi is saying that the internet can only be used for buying more shit. You can't learn about history or science, dissent, or anything relevant. Just fill those voids with more shit you probably don't need. Look how cool this corporate puppet looks with a lightsaber and an ethernet and fiber optics cable jammed up his ass so the instructions from his overlords get to his brain in lightning speeds. Now, so this year for Christmas, Ajit Pai and the FCC got the American people the gift of silence. 
Taking away net neutrality means our freedom of speech is under attack and has been sold off with a very nice bow to the highest bidder. Eventually, this will lead to imprisonment for not saying the right holiday greeting. Now, companies like Facebook, Google, Twitter have all come out against the FCC, but I doubt it's in the interest of us, the consumers. This battle is about who controls the massive information highway. At this point, most people know that Facebook, Google, Twitter censor the reach of independent media, so unless they're willing to throw their weight around in money towards preserving net neutrality, I doubt their decisions are based on our internet freedoms. It is very much about the control of information being in their favor.